Hi, I am Mac Carwinio M. Agdal, your mentor for today. I am here to teach you how to use Glass In in recording your video lessons for your students. Are you ready? Oh, that's great. Let's begin. Welcome to Class In application. So what is Class In? Class In is a web-based virtual classroom management software for educational institutions, offering multiple e-learning courses and educational tools, facilitating a comprehensive learning curriculum. It offers a common platform for teachers and students located in dispersed demographics to come face-to-face -face and leverage virtual classroom systems. The online teaching portal ensures a collaborative yet competitive environment for students who can take notes, submit assignments, and actively participate in their scheduled online courses. So eventually, this is the brief introduction of class in application. But for today's goal, our main goal is how to record a video lesson. Allow me to introduce to you some of the features of the class in application. So the first one we have here, the interactive boards. Hold on, let me just use a thicker one and change color. And breakout rooms, tracking system, class recordings, homework system, and cloud storage. But for today, we will focus on class recordings, where you are going to use this Blackboard Editor, which is one of the features of Class In, in recording your lessons. Hi, teachers. In order for you to record your lessons in Class In application, the first thing that you need to do is to visit the Class In website and download the installer. So for those teachers who haven't downloaded the installer yet for Class In, so here's the link for you. You just have to type this link uh, on your browser and then click download and then it will give you prompt that it is downloading and once it is 100%, then it is ready to be installed on your gadgets. Now, um, in installing, just like any typical uh, installers, you just have to run it as administrators and then just next, click next, 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 and you have already your class in application. After the successful installation of your class in application, the next thing to do is to go to your desktop and look for the class in icon. So you need to click on this icon and a dialog box will appear. It looks like this and look for the sign up. Click on that. And then just like any other applications, you need to input your personal details, set your name, you need to input your mobile numbers, and set your password. And after that, you're ready to use the class in application. So teachers, after the sign up, you need to log in using your account. And after that, you will see like this. And you will check on different tabs like class in, contacts, drive, and course. But going back to our main goal for today is to record our lessons using class in application. So where do we need to go? Do not worry. All you have to look for is the Blackboard Editor icon. And where is that? At the lower left corner of this page. So click on this icon that is the icon for blackboard editor and after you click that it will give you this page 
blank. You can set your camera anywhere, or you can set the camera on its place, like the camera area. Okay, you just have to use that. Or you want to use the bigger space, you can resize your camera if you like. And if you want to hide the camera area, you just go to the camera, then click setting, and then click hide, and then click finish. And then you can set your camera anywhere on the board. Hi, teachers. After locating the Blackboard Editor icon, then you are ready to use this feature in class in application. But before you can maximize the use of this in delivering your video lessons, make sure you uploaded your file. So how do we upload our instructional materials? Uh, you may use uh, Canva or PowerPoint presentation, but make sure you save it as a PDF file because it is easy to navigate and make use of this file in this application while using the teacher's tool bar. So in order for us to upload the files, follow these steps. So in the teacher's tool bar, you can see that one, you need to locate the cloud icon, which is the drive. And then you will see this prompt. And after that, you click upload. After clicking Upload, a dialog box will appear and then you need to locate your file. Where did you save it? Is it in your desktop, downloads, or documents? And then once you have located your file, you need to click on that and after clicking, you click Open. And then give some time, a few seconds, for the file to be uploaded. You will see that one here. It will give you prompts. If it is already 100%, it will be in the class in cloud already. So you can see that here. It is already in the class in cloud. And for you to open that, you need to double click this file and then it will appear on your screen. Hi teachers, so after clicking your file, you will see that it is already presented on your screen, so you are ready to record your lesson. So in order for you to do that, you need to locate the video icon or the recording icon at the upper right hand on your screen so you need to click on that and then a dialog box will appear so you need to read the instruction here that it says the quality of recording video is high definition at 1280 by 720 to ensure the quality of recording please read the following notes first cpu requirements is intel i5 or higher desk space requirements is video file will increase 2 MB per minute and then you click start recording then a dialog box will appear you need to locate your um, file destination of the recordings either in uh, desktop documents downloads or anywhere that you want them to be saved and then set your file name and then click save you will know that your lesson uh, is already recording because the icon of the video turns green now and then if you want to stop the recording you just need to click this icon again and it will turn to gray color which means it is no longer recording. And you can go back to your file destination, click on your file, and then watch if you're satisfied with your video recordings. Or if not, 
you do it again click the video and then start recording then save I mean locate your file destination then click save and then it's recording then stop and that's it and by the way while you are presenting now I'll try to open my file here I'll try to resize my camera mm -hmm. now if you want to open your file you can maximize your presentation just like this or if you don't like you can minimize by clicking the icon here so it is already minimized and then you can resize now in going to the next page you can use uh, the arrowheads here to the right or arrowheads to the left or you want it as easy as this just click this icon and then locate the slide number and then click on that and then on your screen you will see that part particular slide already and while you are presenting you can eventually use the teachers tools like for highlighting like if you want to type some notes or um, if you want to delete just have to click that and then delete and also this you need to use the highlighter or click and then delete and teachers while you are presenting you can minimize your slides and then you can show to your students how to solve a given problem or write a sentence using the word shown to them and then be engaging in presenting your lesson uh, even though this is just a recording type of discussion now you can write any notes here if you like and then again highlight delete and you can explore other items here like in the uh, toolbox here icon you can have load image or board file save desktop sharing multi way screen sharing slot machine you can have browser you can have your uh, simple experiments for chemistry and physics you got small blackboard and many more so you just have to explore and enjoy using the class in application I hope you learned uh, the basic steps in recording class in uh, application